Hey, it's Gabe with API Nation. Today I'm going to show you how you can sync Google Contacts to MailChimp so that when you save a contact in Gmail or you save a contact on your phone, they automatically also get added to your email newsletter in MailChimp. You can even have it so that when you tag somebody in Google Contacts, put a label on them, it tags them in MailChimp, it triggers an automation. That means you can save a contact in Gmail, put them on a MailChimp automation simply by putting a label on them. Super easy to set this up. Let me show you how. So the first thing you're gonna do is go to apination.com and you're gonna click Get Syncs. It's gonna ask you to sign in or sign up for API Nation. An API Nation account is totally free to sign up. You won't pay until you actually subscribe to a plan. So you can sign up, poke around and see what kind of automations you could be using. I'm gonna go ahead and sign in. I'm already a member here, so I'm gonna click Sign In. Great, now you see a ton of different apps here you can automate marketing apps, real estate apps, productivity apps. I'm gonna come down here to MailChimp and click on that. And you can see, you can sync MailChimp with a ton of different apps. A lot of different opportunities here for automation. First, we're gonna connect our MailChimp account. So I'm gonna click on Connections and I'm gonna hit Add Account. So to add my MailChimp account, it's just gonna ask for a label and that's just gonna be the name of your MailChimp account or the name of the owner of the MailChimp account or the office who uses it. I'm just gonna put my name in, that's totally fine. And this is just if you're using multiple MailChimp accounts. So maybe you're managing MailChimp accounts for yourself, your team, uh, another business, that's all this is. So I'm gonna name this Gabe Co because I only have one. And then I gotta get this API key from MailChimp. To get that, just hop into MailChimp you're gonna click on your little icon up here in the top right corner and click on profile. Then you're gonna see here under extras, the API key. So I'll click on that. You're gonna have a bunch of different API keys if you've created them. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new one right now and I'm gonna call this Gabe Co Key. Generate the key. There it is, I'll copy it, go back to API Nation and paste it in. Hit connect. There we go. You can see I now have my MailChimp account added. Let's go back to integrations. And today we are syncing with Google Contacts. There's Google Contacts right here. Click on that. And you can see what we have available is Google Contacts into MailChimp. So I'm going to activate that sync. So what this means is as I save people to Google Contacts, as I save them in Gmail, as I save them on my phone, they will automatically get adding into MailChimp onto my email newsletter. So you're gonna connect Google Contacts. To do that, just hit the connect button. You'll sign into your Google account. That makes the connection. I'm gonna go ahead and select the one I've already set up. And then we just connected MailChimp. So we'll use that same account. Here we go, we're setting up this sync. So you're gonna choose exactly who from Google Contacts is going over. You can send everybody over, or I'm actually gonna show you, I'm gonna do labels. So I'm gonna say, let's just send over buyers this time and then I'm going to send them over to the audience and hit subscribe so the reason I chose buyers is I can actually come down here to mapping and I can put in the tags I can actually put buyers there so that as they get added into MailChimp they'll get tagged with that buyer label so that's great that means I can actually set up a email campaign what they call a customer journey in MailChimp especially for buyers and anybody who comes through here gets tagged with buyer and they get put on that journey. A bunch of emails that I've set up ahead of time, especially to appeal to buyers and start nurturing that buyer deal. Anything else you wanna add, you would just go ahead and hit the plus sign, search for the field and add it in here. This looks good though. The other thing you have here is a filter. So if you wanna filter people coming over from Google Contacts on any of these fields, maybe you're only setting this sync up for people from a certain company, you say. So you can do company, you can do mobile phone, you could do uh, zip code, any of the stuff that's coming over from Google Contacts. Maybe notes, maybe state, maybe zip. Let's go ahead and clear it out. Most people do have go with no filter on this kind of sync because they're trying to build out their MailChimp audience. They want everybody who they have in Google Contacts that they want to sync in um, is going in there. So I'm going to hit activate this sync. So there we go. Now anybody I label with buyers in Google Contacts and my Gmail contacts is going into MailChimp and they're getting labeled buyer. So I can go ahead and do this again. I can hit this clone button so I can get 
people who I am labeling sellers. This time I would just go down here and change the label to sellers and come down here to mapping and change the tag to sellers. There we go. Easy cake and activate that sync as well. And you would just continue doing this for every label you're doing in Google contacts that they get sent over to MailChimp and they have the correct label so that you can trigger a variety of different automations or customer journeys in MailChimp without leaving Gmail, without leaving your phone. So that's it. That's how you connect Google contacts to MailChimp. Now all those contacts you have in Gmail that on your phone are automatically getting added to your email newsletter. You can send them the beautiful MailChimp emails. They're not going to go in the spam folder. They're going to go in their inbox and you're going to create more deals. If you have any questions or need any help setting up this sync, give us a phone call, shoot us an email. We're API Nation and we are connecting the world's applications.